What are you doing? I'm weighing my head. Why? You look like an idiot. Doesn't it ever bother you you don't know how much your own head weighs? No. Well, it should. The head houses your personality. Don't you want to know how much your personality weighs? Personality has got nothing to do with the weight of your head. How do you know? I just know. No, you don't. It's never been tested. This could be groundbreaking research. So what are you going to do now? I'm waiting for you to read the scales for me. How am I supposed to read the scales when I'm weighing my head? Six point eight. The six point eight what? I don't know. Six point eight seven, I suppose. Stones or kilograms? Well, it's not going to be stones. That's how much a small person weighs. Hmm. Well, aren't you going to get up? No, I think I might lie here for a while. Well, don't lie there. What if somebody comes? That's what I'm hoping for. What do you mean? Verification. You want somebody to come in and see you like this. How do I know you told me the truth when you read the scales? I need infallible data. I could go around my whole life thinking my head was the wrong weight. It won't make any difference to your life. Yeah? That's what you think now, but who knows what the future holds. Are you God? Tell me, are you God? No, I'm not God. I'm a goddess. Well, I only want to speak to whoever's in control. God doesn't talk to blasphemers. That's right. He casts him into a pit of fire for eternity. That's why I've got to look after myself. I've got to be prepared. I've got to be ready for that imperceptible day when insane circumstances have locked me into a situation where it is utterly critical I know the precise weight of my own head. And I won't let you stand in the way. So now you want a second opinion on reading the scales. Cross-referencing is the backbone of our society. What about conspiracy? How do you know that me and this other person aren't secretly in cahoots? I'll take my chances. The paranoia is only healthy up to a certain point. So that's all I am to you now. A point of paranoia. I'm an instrument that you use to calibrate reality. What's wrong? I can hear something. Like what clockwork? Like voices. People talking. Exchanging information. That'll be the people who live on the floor below us? It's not the people below. Well, there's nobody living above us. It, it doesn't sound like them. How would you know? You've never met them. I can tell what they're like from the way you've described them. So how are these voices different? Sort of more intelligent. Alien. This is stupid. It must be them. It's not coming from here. It's it's coming from somewhere else. Like where? I don't know. Another dimension. How about if I jump on your head and squish it everywhere? Right now, you'd be totally powerless. Did you ever think of that? Give me a glass. What? A glass. Give me a fucking glass. I don't have any. Yes, you do. In your pocket. How did you know I had a glass in my pocket? I heard them talking about you. About me? They said you always have a glass in your pocket. This is weird. Are they still talking about me? Wouldn't you like to know? 
You shouldn't listen to them. It's not right. <laughs> it's not right. I like that. You're just scared I'm going to reveal your secrets. That's your vested interest talking. You've got something to hide and I'm going to find out what it is. I'm just worried they might come and get you. They won't come and get me. You shouldn't listen in on somebody else's conversation. Oops. I think that's suspicious. I was listening. Well, eavesdropping is illegal, isn't it? Phone tapping. Well, I thought eavesdropping was as well. Only electronic surveillance? A fucking glass isn't electronic surveillance? Well, morally, it's illegal. Who cares about morals these days? I still think you shouldn't do it. Would you shut up? I can't hear what you're saying! We should care about morality. Thank you.